When I went to Lagos, I met a brother who came from Uganda. Jesus. When the guy was talking, I, I went mad. The guy went for a crusade in a country in South Sudan. And as he was preaching on the altar, the head of the Taliban was walking into the crusade ground with two women. People began to run because the new danger was coming. People who were worshipping started running. And the guy didn't know what was happening. He was just watching. And the guy came to him and said, This woman here has been blind for seven years. Open her eyes or you die. So that, that, that one, there's nothing like atmosphere. There's nothing like I'm feeling oil on my head. Because as far as the Taliban is concerned, I can't read your Bible. I don't have time to hear your message. But if what you are saying is true, then this blind person must open. Otherwise, every other blind eyes here that open, I won't believe. And the guy looked at him immediately. Faith rose on his inside. Because a man of power is challenged that stirs him up. If you don't know it, you'll be afraid. When the guy heard it, what? Do you know where Jesus went to? Jesus came down from heaven and went to the bottomless pit and defeated the devil. Is this the greatest challenge you can bring? And he looked at the woman. He didn't pray. He said, is that all you are looking for? He said, woman, see. Maketoa. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. See. God, hear this. God is not afraid of challenge. He said, test and see that the Lord is good. He's not afraid. The guy said, because you challenge God openly, I will not pray. Woman, see. And eyes began to see. The Taliban knelt down and gave his heart to Christ. Because of power. It was the last one that said, one miracle is greater than a thousand seven. If our world see power, nobody will tell them whether our God is real or not. The guy entered a nation called Honduras. And he wanted to preach there. And the president told him, all of you from Africa that come here to take money, you will print a lot of things on your poster that will never happen. At the end of the day, you collect offering and seed and leave our country with money. He said, if the things you wrote on the poster does not happen, I will jail you. The guy laughed. He said, now it's time to preach the gospel. Because the gospel is not English language. The gospel is the move of power. 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 He now told the man. No, this is the governor of another state. I forgot it. He told the man. He said, let's enter a contract. He listed everything he said will happen. The dead will come back to life. The blind will see. The deaf will hear. The cripple will walk. And they signed the contract. If these things don't happen, jail me forever. But if they happen, you will accept Jesus publicly. Meanwhile, before we go to the crusade, you have a pain on your back. There's an injury. That one is already healed. The man checked and discovered he was already healed. What is going on here? Hear this. Hear this. Nobody knows him in that state. And he didn't have money to spend on flyer. You know what they did? They came to the city and asked, where are the school of the deaf? Because that was his own style of evangelism. There's no money for billboard. There's no money for flyer. But if miracles begin to happen, invincible evangelists will emerge. Because if you see Jesus' ministry, there's always a day they brought those who were sick. They went out. There is a day that never have identity. Those day is power that activate them. And the guy went, they went to the school of the deaf and dumb. Signed and brought all of them. So he was putting himself in trouble much more. There was a hospital nearby. They brought ambulance and brought everybody from the hospital. Some people, when I see you, you know they will die. They look for where cripples are in the market begging. They brought them. So this one is not people who are in church who have heard the gospel. And they brought them and light them up in the, in, the, in the crusade. He thought that was all. When crusade started and he dressed to go out. They now told him they have brought dead men to the, 10 dead men to the crusade. You will know that there is a realm of power that is superior to faith. Is it not when somebody hears your message that faith will rise? Do dead men hear messages? How does the deaf and blinds hear the message? 
So you don't have to hear because the great commission is a commandment. A superior to faith is a command. And so there's a revelation of the cross you will have that will make the message become a commandment. And the guy said, the meeting will now become sweet. And when he went out, as he was done preaching, some people were sleeping. And he now said, this is the time that when Paul came, he did not come with excellency of speech. He displayed the power of God. And he began to command the dead. And ten dead people rose up. Blind saw. The lame walked. Before the guy finished, the governor knelt down and was crying. It's not everybody you preach a message to. There are people you show them the power of God. And so the gospel of the cross is the gospel of the power of God that cannot fail. That's why before we were sent out, Jesus had to rise from the dead. He defied death for you to qualify to preach.